What's up, family? Happy Wellness Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, y'all. I think today is Wednesday. Um, excited to come on here and talk about a subject very quickly. And it's going to be straight to the point. We're going to talk about New Year detoxes. And normally, if you followed me for years and years and years, you already know how I feel about detoxes. Up front, you're doing it to maybe like a mental challenge. Maybe you feel like you need to reset your body. And for the most part, a lot of people who are in my community, we're doing it because we did too doggone much. We did too much for October, November, Thanksgiving, December. We, but it's in it. It's in a chokehold. It got us choked up. The food got us choked up and we need to pump the brakes, okay? So I want to tell you how to go into your new year detox safely and then how to come out safely because we don't talk about that enough. We just say, oh, I'm about to detox with somebody and then, wah, 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 and then we don't know what to do and it's not successful, right? And then we come out of the detox if we finish it looking crazy. So I'm going to sh share with you. Number one, and, and you need to write this down or save this live or whatever you need to do. Number one, you need to know what you are doing, what you are doing. And it needs to have guidelines of what you're doing. I am going to drink liquids for three days straight. And now this, this live is not telling you what detox to do. This is not about that. So this is just straight up general information. So number one, what you're doing and have those guidelines, print them out. Put them on your, in your car. Put them on your refrigerator. Whatever you got to do, you need to know what you're doing. And the reason I say this is because when it starts getting hard on that day three, day four, right after that seven days, you start to talk yourself out of or into how you can get around what you're supposed to be doing, okay? And for example, you know, I've been in, I've been in different churches and stuff, but we do the Daniel fast, okay? Fruits, vegetables, legumes, fish, whatever you decide to do. Next thing you know, we put cheese on everything, right? Next thing you know, we're like, oh, well, you know, Popeye's got fried okra. I can have okra. Or it's not fried, it's air fried. It's not, you know, so you got to get really clear on what you're doing, okay? It needs to have some guidelines. It doesn't matter what you do, you need to have the guidelines. Number two, you need to know why you're doing it, Okay? Why are you going on this fast? Why are you doing a detox? Because the why is going to keep you in the game when your body says, go get a burger from chick go I mean, not Chick-fil-A. Go get a burger from In-N-Out. Go get a Chick-fil-A large fry. They said you just had fruits and vegetables. Fill your plate up with, with potatoes, right? This is what's going to keep you. You need to know why. So if you're doing it for spiritual reasons, do it for spiritual reasons. If you're doing it for weight loss, do it for weight loss. Don't overcomplicate this because we always want to say a detox and a a detox and a, and a fast is we always come back to losing weight because it's it's not always that. Sometimes you're like, I need discipline and I don't have that right now, so I'm going to do this eating regimen for three days, seven days, whatever it is for you, 21 days. I'm gonna do this because I need the discipline. Now, you can choose at the beginning of your detox or your fast if you want to do, do for whatever reason, it's right. It's for whatever you choose is correct, is what I'm saying. If you feel me, I need you to put it in the comments if you understand what I'm saying. So if you're doing it for spiritual reasons, do it for spiritual reasons. Um, pray, right? When it gets hard, ask God for help or whoever you pray to. I don't care, you know? Um, figure out what you're going to do for your spiritual development. If you're doing it for weight loss, Get on the freaking scale every day. Do it for weight loss. Do right. Drink your water. Whatever. Um, now, you also want to know this is a, a it, this is a part that a lot of people who are doing it for weight loss miss. Okay, and I've seen people literally pass out because they didn't do right. If you are doing a restrictive detox, okay. I'm going to give an example. There's like a really popular green smoothie detox that people do. And you're supposed to do light workouts, light cardio. What does that mean? That means walking. That means stretching. That means light. That does not mean go balls to the walls at the gym. Be like, oh, now I'm going to give him a six pack and I'm going to get on a treadmill at 
6.8 and I'm going to run for 10 miles. Listen, no. If you're doing a detox or a fast, it is not the time to push the gas in the gym. Or you can get really sick, okay? And I'm, and I'm saying that with love because I've seen it inside of my gym. I've seen it inside the church. Blood sugar has dropped, okay? All of the things, but you got to do that safely. And the last thing I'm going to give you a nugget is to ease yourself into it. If you think you want to start a fast or a detox in 2023, January 1, you got to start easing yourself into it now. And I know you might say, but I want to have a little champagne. Yay. I'm going to have some champagne for a new year. You can have that, right? You're easing, into, easing yourself into it. So what do you do now? Let's just say if I was starting, if I was going to do a three-day juice cleanse, I would start off right now and say, I'm going to increase my water to a gallon a day. And then I'm going to take out meat tomorrow. And then I'm going to take out refined uh, carbohydrates. Or I'm going to take out um, processed foods the next day. But you want to do it incrementally so that your body can adjust to it. Just because your mind says you can cold turkey something doesn't mean that it's the best opportunity for your body, right? And if we have these last five days in the year, four days in the year, you have four days to kind of take stuff out of your diet so your body can adjust to it. Otherwise, you are at risk for quitting or being sick, right? And and people don't understand that. Now, let's just say you get to the end of your fast. You made it. You made it. You got to the end of your detox. You didn't you know what? Your pants off in the bathroom. You'd have been in the bathroom for three days straight. Let me tell you this. The same way you got into the detox, okay? Same way you got into the detox, you need to come out. And like I told you, you want to incrementally take things out of your diet to prepare for it. You want to incrementally put things in, take, take, put things back into your diet a little bit at a time. And I'm going to give you a story of why this is so, so important. I had a friend who was a bodybuilding, uh, she, she was a bodybuilder, right? She did that all, all year long. And so bodybuilding diets are very, very strict. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Brown rice, chicken, and broccoli over and over and over and over and over and over, over. Okay. And she decided to go you better come get some of this chicken salad. She decided to go to Puerto Rico, okay, for like a, for, for a vacation. Ended up eating Puerto Rican food, right? The mofongo, not Puerto Rican. Um, She went to Cuba. Mofongo. She had like fried foods and stuff. Don't y'all know she had to be hospitalized because it messed with her stomach lining and her stomach that bad? And that's because she went from eating super duper strict. Hey, Carl, eating super duper strict to eating whatever she wants that is like on one opposite end of a diet, right? So she's eating super clean and then all of a sudden having a good time, drinking, eating fried foods, foods that are filled with sugar. And she had to be hospitalized in Cuba. Couldn't come back to the United States because it messed her stomach up so bad. Hey, Chris. So I want to give you that nugget because I think that a lot of times, especially in the black community, we like to use these fasts to get closer to God, but nobody prepares us. It tells us how to how to get ready for the for the fast. And, and instead of it being a spiritual thing because you cold turkey it just because you started off with a spiritual thing, you end up thinking that it's going to be a weight loss thing because you were not prepared for it. Right? We started off the pastor telling you, we're going to do a day you fast. Yeah, everybody, I want to lose 15 pounds. That's not what it's for. You got to know what it's for. When you have a purpose behind what you're doing, that's what's going to keep you in the game. Right? So I wanted to share those nuggets with you. Um, don't try to be extreme all over the place. If you're taking these detox teas, number one, stay by the toilet. Number two, stay hydrated. Number three, make sure you have your electrolytes back into your body so that you can replenish. Do not be at the gym. Don't be trying to do no damn jumping jacks and carry on. Okay. Your body is depleted. You're not as strong as you think. You are not God's strongest soldier. Okay. When you're doing these three day detoxes, you're not, you're not supposed to be that. You're supposed to do it. For the time it's supposed to do and i'm a, february gonna come around so i'm gonna leave you with this also 
de detoxes and fasts are not a lifestyle, okay? I don't care if you lost 30 pounds in three days on these detox teas. That does not mean do it every single week forever and ever. Amen. Okay. If you did a water fast for 30 days. Okay. If you did a water fast for 30 days and you lost 90 pounds. I'm just being dramatic y'all. And you lost 90 pounds. That don't mean go do it again. That's not what this is for. Detoxes are to reset. Even though technically you don't need them. I understand a lot of you who have bowels that need to be cleaned out. Okay. Um, you got to know what you're doing it for. And it's for a season. So I like to say you could do it once a year. You could do it twice a year. Four times a year. But do you need to do something like that every single week? Every single month? Hmm, I don't think so. You know, that's up to you though. So I wanted to share that with you because we get to be very transparent about the preparation of the new year. I know people are gonna do it, which is fantastic, but please take these nuggets so that you can do it in a healthy way, so that you can do it in a safe way. And please go check with your doctor. I, I cannot get off of this live. This can't be no vitamin D for free. If I don't say this, please go check with your doctor if it's safe for you to do a detox. Please check with your doctor, okay? If it's safe for you to do a certain type of fast because some of us are diabetic, some of us have high cholesterol, some of us um are pregnant, some of us are have different situations that a fast or a detox may not be good for your body. You can't let social media mess with your health just because you want to do whatever. So, please check with your primary care physician um because we want to be sure it does it make a difference you know what i'm saying you know you got if you a diabetic probably a fruit fast is not your thing not your thing because it'll kill you just want to just say that so check with your doctors before all of that make sure you're prepared make sure you know what your guidelines are um and also Make sure you are pre are prepared for when you, like your mind gets weak. What are you going to do when your mind gets weak? What are you going to do when you get hungry? What are you going to do when it goes all over the place, right? So you want to be prepared for those things. So um, moving into 2023, I'm excited for you guys. I'm excited to be here with you. I'm, look, y'all, I, I got some things I'm working on too, baby, because we all growing together. I love you all. Um, happy 2022. Let's get it. Let's lock arms. Let's sit at the table. Let's eat. Um, and my brother asked, uh, what's a beginner detox? I've never done one. I, you know, truthfully, our liver and our kidneys detox us and we don't need a detox. Um, but I would say a beginner detox, honestly, drink a gallon of water for three days straight. And with food, obviously, um, fruits and vegetables, a gallon of water, which is, is great. It's not easy, but start with drinking a gallon of water in addition to whatever you already eat. That water is just such a great, water is such a great natural detox, okay? And um, I'll be posting more things in my stories if you follow me. Uh, just some ideas on like detox waters. They call it detox water. Water, fruit waters. Um, and things like that. So I'll keep dropping those nuggets so that we can all stay safe and have a healthy 2023. Talk to you guys. And that's your vitamin D for free.